Yo brothers, welcome back to the Crypto Gangster channel where I'm showing you the best banger crypto projects and today we are taking a look at Frax Cryptocurrency, the world's first fractional stablecoin and crypto native consumer price index. So before we get any further, remember nothing in this video is financial advice. Always do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. The Frax Protocol was introduced to the world to the concept of a cryptocurrency being partially backed by collateral and partially stabilized algorithmically, with the vision to create highly scalable decentralized money in place of fixed supply digital assets like Bitcoin. So let's launch the app and take a look. So here we have the Frax dashboard. So I believe there is the native token Frax and also a secondary token FXS. Here we can see, of course, the price of it. You can, of course, pick up Frax on different exchanges and add it to very different networks. We can see the supply and the market cap, and of course, the current price stable at that $1 mark. Then we have the FXS coin with a price of $9.75. And here we can see the collateral ratio of Frax decentralized ratio and the distribution. So now if we go over to mint on Frax Finance, you can actually go ahead and mint some tokens. So you can set an amount. I'd need to set up my wallet, but you can mint your method if you already have USDC or FXS and you can go ahead and then get some minted. Here in the redeem section, again, this is where you can redeem your Frax amount with a redemption fee, collateral and get some FXS. Then you can use buyback and recatalyze here. Quite not, I'd say fully complicated stuff, but I would assume you'd want to go through some of the help documents if you are unsure about some of this stuff. Again, there's a big white paper for Frax Finance, which we will look at shortly. Here we have Frax Swap, where if I actually go ahead and connect my wallet, we'll go for account two. Here you can swap to and from tokens. Of course, we have Frax, FXS, FPI, FPIS, and WETH on the Ethereum chain. Then we have VEFXS, which I need to swap over to the Ethereum network to see all of this one. Here you can see your balance of VEFXS. You can, this is, I believe, the locked staking. So you can choose a lock period. The longer you lock your FXS, the more VEFXX you will receive. You can also get additional VEFXS by locking up more FXX or extending the lock period. VEFXS decays slowly over the unlocking period, eventually reaching a one-to-one -one with FXS. So I can lock for say 365 days if I wanted to. And then of course I need some FXS, but then you can see your returns. Next up in the gauge, gouge. Here I believe is for voting, I wanna say. This one isn't really loading too much, so we'll skip over that one. Here we have cross chains. So I'm on Ethereum, but say I want to cross chain bridge over to Binance or a different chain. That is how you would do it. And then here is the main staking overhaul showing all of the different chains, statuses, reward tokens and TVLs. So if you saw by the highest TVL, we can see there is the curve Frax, the curve pull V2 with a TVL of $452 million. Again, you can go straight over to Curve and actually deposit into that pool. Then there's a convex pool with another 451 million. Then we have the Frax staking shares, which is the VEFXS, which we just looked at, has a TVL of 421 million. Good thing with the single side staking, you don't have to wor worry about impermanent loss. So for your FXS, that is a nice yield there. Then we have some more convex pools. Uniswap, AA, etc., and they go down. But I would say the big, the biggest pool, well, in terms of APR, you're looking at a good APR with the convex pool. There's another convex pool here where you can earn up to 12.6%. Or if you just want to back Frax, go for the share staking, which we looked at in their own platform, of a base APR of 0.4%, and it boosts up to 1.7%. Here AMO, you can see the amount of investor liquidity curve lending and graphs. And here we have a full accrued profit of, I think that's the one week thing. And yeah, here we can see all time profits, etc. 
Lots of details in the Frax Finance app, which I really like. In the governance section, you should be able to vote on governance discussions and things. Here we have a governance forum. So if they are doing anything regarding changes to the protocol, normally if you have their governance token FXS, you can vote on some of those pairs. Here we can see integrations, a lot of exchanges already and bridges. We've got, of course, the big players. We've got Binance there, Crypto.com, Gemini, SushiSwap, KuCoin, Uniswap, even CoinX, and some external farms through Olympus Pro, Convex, and a lot of partners here. Then they have their community site for Frax Community. Here we've got news, some governance. Also, you can actually look at some airdrops. So Frax have released the FPI stablecoin that tracks the consumer price index. And I believe you can actually get some airdrops. So if you are interested, maybe you can do some airdrop farming here. A lot of social tweets from the well Frax Twitter account as well, but other crypto well, DeFi platforms have been tweeting about Frax. So we have tweets from Beefy, Solidity Dex, and quite a lot of other people talking about Frax. But yeah, here we can see the community overview of the dashboard. Frax price sat at stable $1 with a 1 billion supply, 92% collateral ratio. And the FXS price is actually on the up. As we can see in the past month or so, it's gone from $4 all the way up to $9.74. So we're at a 2x in the past month, which is pretty big. Again, the crypto market has picked up in the last week or so, but that is definitely a larger gain than a lot of other coins. So Frax could be one of the biggest coins maybe to explode in over the next year. I just want to go back to the homepage of Frax Finance. Here, if we look at the analytics, Frax Facts, which is quite cool. We can see the overview. Here we can see the Frax swap. This is the amount per chain total liquidity and you have the e things so here we can see the overview the amount of validators as well so state ETH, total earned ETH, and the blocks which is cool and a full balance sheet i like how transparent fracks are with all of these details and again it's i know people say do your own research there's so much research you can do over here it's pretty ridiculous we've got frax lend which here we can see the TVL is around 214 million. We have a total lifetime TVL of 33%. We can see pairs, tokens, users, positions, so much stuff. And then there's Frax Ferry, which you can see some of the recent trips. It's just a huge ecosystem, to be honest. And it seems to be thriving very well. High TVLs, coin price going up. Of course, they have their stable coin. But yeah, it's really good. And again, it would be the way it is the world's first fractional stable coin and crypto native consumer price index so make sure you do check out frax again join the telegram discord twitter again the telegram's got nearly fourteen thousand members which is pretty ridiculous of course you can read through the docs there's a lot of stuff here so i know it's there's too much stuff to cover in one video so sorry about this being quite vague over each things we're just glossing over taking a look at frax however maybe we can do a full in-depth dive on just one particular section of frax because yeah, we have the core concepts but there's so many different well all the chains price indexes etc so much data going on here but i hope you guys did enjoy this video you've been watching the crypto gangster channel and i'll see you guys in my next banger crypto video